So, for example, we were at Sundance. We had a film called Black, um, Black Gold, and it was about fair trade coffee. And right in the middle of Sundance, um, uh, Starbucks came after us, and they demanded to see the film. They wanted, you know, they, they said they're a sponsor of Sundance, and they'll pull their sponsorship away. So we had to sit down with the sales rep and with the two filmmakers who were just, they are really scared because it looked threatening and, and all that. And we just said, you know, let's just pull back a little bit. Let's see what they're going to keep coming with. And we went to Sundance, and Sundance came back and said, look, you know, we choose what the film's going through, the sponsors don't. And that was it. They kind of ended up. But in the inside the uh, Q&As, uh, Starbucks had a plan. And so the filmmakers were really afraid of that. And I said, look, this is Sundance. They'll go after the Starbucks plant, so don't worry about it. And sure enough, that's, just, that's what happened. Someone raised their hand. They said, you know, what about, you know, you know, Starbucks does this, this, and this. And then someone asked a question to that person and said, hey, you know, who do you work for? And then she said, I work for Starbucks, and they all attacked her. And then at that screening, though, another person stood up and said, well, what does it cost to build a school in that village in Africa where you're getting the coffees? And they said, oh, it's $5,000. And the guy wrote the check right there. So that became the story. So we ran with that story that someone was so moved by the film. So we kind of like moved the conversation away from Starbucks was attacking the film to, you know, look at what happened here. But also, too, it was the audience that kind of ran with it. 